And it had the latest in high-tech dashboards. That's a mess. No. Isn't this going to drive your OCD mad? I mean, well, I've put labels on things, to, you know, corresponding to what I think they do. Hazards, what's that? I've got one of those in my well, I don't know. I've had to put a question mark on it. Mine is a sports lorry. This is a 1972 Rolls-Royce Corniche. Specifically, it's James May's 1972 Rolls-Royce Corniche. You can tell it's his, partly because it's the slowest car I've ever driven, partly because everything is absolutely <laughs> spotless. <coughs> so, sorry, James. And partly because uh, he's in the boot. Ah! Oi! So you see, you take the big spanner off, you can see the big spanner is missing. Put the big spanner on, you know it's in the right place. If Jeremy Clarkson came in here and did that, you'd see immediately that that is not the correct spanner for that peg. That should be on there, and that should be on there. With James suffering from an industrial bout of OCD, I set about removing Sir Redgrave's flower bed. I only have to put the seatbelt on once. You've got to do it six times. OK, I've got to do that and that. then wait whilst you put your seatbelt on and then do all your pre-flight checks to make sure the air vents are all... <laughs> <laughs> Can I just move this along? Do you mind? When archaeologists unearth this house, they will find evidence of the British public being funny. Here it is. Introducing a pink brick to an otherwise red one. Now, I didn't notice that because we were building the wall from the other side and it wasn't until we got up to there that we spotted it, which means it's embedded forever. And if it was you who did this, I hate you. Power. Oh, I don't know. Why don't you say and let's see. No, look, James, just old-fashioned tuning, cylinder heads, camshafts, inlet manifolds. You get filthy, dirty. Think of that all night long and all night at all the workshop. All those bolts you could name and line Take up. We won't interfere. Out, put spanners back in order. And I promise we wouldn't cock about. No. Oh, God. My dubs have escaped. My doves have got out. What doves? What do you mean, got out? My doves from my magic box. They're all over the back. They've crapped everywhere. Upset by the mess, OCD May ejected the culprit. Oh, my God, there's a lorry going to get... That is an X-Dark. It would be interesting, therefore, to see how much faster this is than the now defunct 430, but there's a problem. You see, this is James's actual car, the car in which he keeps a little brush for cleaning the air vents. And he said we could borrow it, providing we didn't fiddle with any of the settings or make it dirty in any way. These chocolate bars just go everywhere. Um, anyway, words, really. And what we ended up with is, is Stephen Fry with Keira Knightley's face. So one massive leap. <laughs> yeah, one massive leap just from where after, James's was. Yeah, to the you next stepped one. in. Yeah. Are you quite finished? No, you are. Yeah, completely. You can never try your car again. No, well, not in the hours of daylight, anyway, mate. No. No, you can't. No. You ate a chocolate bar in my car. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. You can't drive it anymore. <laughs> I have to think, yes, the seat swivel, I can get a lot of brightly coloured mother care rubbish No, no, in you can just have your little brush for cleaning your air vents in there, James. That's That's right. Right. James May on parenting, <laughs> brightly coloured mother Me care. And my brush. Stuff. Anyway, thing is... James, however, was loving this. In cleaning the car, you sort of clean your mind. Well, all you have to worry about is, is that bit there as clean as it could be. No, it isn't. So let's improve it. That's on now. Hey, James. 21. I got a metal willy. Captain OCD, however, was not in the mood for willy gags. Where the chuffing hell has it gone? This is why you put them back in the same place. Where did you put it last time you had the 19? Oh, for God's sake, Ratchet. just find any f***ing spanner! And with his usual sense of urgency, James started on the shed. Ooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Shall I give you an idea of how much OCD James has got? <laughs> OK, this is a watch. It's got the little pointer thing that has to go by the 12, yes? Yeah. So if I talk to James and it's there, everything's all right. If I do that, it drives him... 
Yeah, because you're not actually timing anything, so if you don't mind... <laughs> <laughs> You can't just leave it there. That's the correct. funniest thing in the world. When he's talking on Tucker, I'll just sit and go... And it shuts him up. Because <laughs> it's not straight. I've done it again now. Well, I'll pull my sleeve down, you'll it. never know. But Jake, you so seem you so... Jake, but Jake seems so balanced, so... Oh. Captain OCD was making storming progress. 14th Street. This is good. Predictably, though, James was being too anal to notice. That's all he's done, all morning, he files. He takes stuff out and then puts it back and files it where it's supposed to be. James! What? Stop filing! I'm looking for the sodding socket thing that you need to take that out. Do you know where it is? Do you no, know where it is? No. Do you know what it looks like? Yes! No, you don't. Quantity one, heavy duty workshop door end. Heavy duty workshop plane end. Two heavy-duty workshop window panels, yes. Two heavy-duty workshop panels. This was panels. ridiculous. James had to be reminded that we were against the clock. Yes, yes I know, but it's, you've sound. spent, like, half an yeah, hour. If the screws are not in the right lengths and the wrong holes, you get Just... end up at the end of the shed with the wrong screw left over and it won't be long enough. And build then you have to dismantle build the, the shed! I'm building the shed. You're not this is building, the shed. building the shed, you're naming your you... tools! <laughs> Oh, for Pete's sake. James, meanwhile, was taking so long that he ran out of time. I was about to finish. No, you weren't. You were you... fiddling with your spanners, polishing them. <gasps> you were. He'd given them all names. This is Jeffrey, this is Ian, this is Stephen. Get on with it. No, you right! 17 miles, 60 miles an hour. No. It was an hour, about... By this stage, Captain OCD had finally joined the race. Correct use of the horn there to warn of your presence going past. Whatever city I go to, I have an A to Z in there somewhere. I've got road maps for everywhere. And then, okay, whatever disease I happen to catch in the cart, there's a pill to cure it. <laughs> Just in there. The only thing I keep in my car is a little paintbrush for cleaning dust out of the switches. <laughs> You're scaring me, mate. <laughs> and I always like to have the air vents lined up, really, so they're stop completely symmetrical. Stop talking now. <laughs> and if anybody moves them... No, stop it. ..I get really angry. Does genuinely scare me. He does, yeah, yeah properly. Um, hey, listen. If I know James May at all, well, I'm sorry to have to say, I do. He won't be so cross about the theft of half of his bonnet as he will be about the shoddiness of the execution of the theft. It's not a neat job. That will rankle. Look at it. I mean, that looks like it was done with a knife and fork by the council. It's not square, it's not neat, he's wasted material, he's left sharp edges, it's all bent. I cannot conceive of the mind of a man who would look at that and think that was the right way to do it. I don't mind you taking a bit of my bonnet. That's fair. I do mind you doing such an appalling bloody job of it, you ham-fisted oak. Honestly, I could do a better job than that with the end of a bulldozer. Well, I, I couldn't find any tools. The back of the car is full of bloody tools. The biggest tool in this operation was you. A pair of tin sets looks like a pair of robust scissors and their function is obvious. They are obviously not a hammer. This could go off. Obviously. Not a screwdriver. They are obviously not a spanner. They are obviously designed. There we go, let's got rid of him. These cars are now looking, well, I'd call them heroic. James would say disgusting. James May, how annoyed are you by the dirtiness of your car? <laughs> I was just saying that we're in disgrace because this is a shiny, spangly city and we should make our cars shiny and spangly. It only takes a minute to clean them. These look like they've done work and battled and fought through. No, they look dirty. <laughs> well, James, you got minus 100. <laughs> Is that a minus? Yes, yes that's a it's minus. a minus. Oh, come on. Well, what else did you expect? Look, you failed to address any of these things. The ruined bonnet, the crumpled roof, door mirror missing, all these dents. All you did was concentrate all your time on one scratch. And it's still here. Look. I ran out of time. <laughs> what you did there was prove what I've said all along. Polish doesn't work. It can't get rid of anything. When do you ever see the NHS going, ooh, that's a nasty head wound? We'll get some tea cut on it. <laughs> it doesn't get rid of anything. All he did was end up with a really clean scratch. Exactly. All right, all right, let's move it on. Look, we've... 
Right, let's pitch the tents. Done. Beer? It's yes, already please. chilled. That would be lovely. Wait, I'll put I... dinner on. Oh, God. What? Oh, my bed's gone out of alignment. Oh, you've got problems. There you go. Well, what's your problem? Nothing. You use the tampons to clean a cooker. <laughs> and this is because I couldn't get my finger he, in it. He doesn't have OCD. Listen, no. You, you do have I, OCD. I don't. You know the bezel on a watch? You know the little arrow thing here? If I have it here, oh. he's fine. But if I put it round, ready? Don't there. It's like, it's like kryptonite. <laughs> Get it back in the right position. You can't, you can't bear it if I haven't got that arrow. <laughs> Look! So I tell you the other interesting thing about tampons. <laughs> Look, seriously, if you've got, has anybody got like an old twin cylinder motorcycle, parallel twin? You'll know this. You always get a little bit of oil. I will dripping. not. You will. <laughs> you get a little bit of oil that always leaks out through the seal, and it collects, and then you can't get at it to mop it up. All right, you put a lilet on the end of a screwdriver, Phillips, you choke it in. around with you on a bandolier and <laughs> Like a Schwarzenegger arrangement full of tampons, just in case. It's a new application for an existing technology armor. James, Adapting it like we do with go away. What do you do? I can't stand that. Somebody... You can't bear it. You honestly cannot bear it if I do that. Anyway, pray silence now, please, for the most...